1-800-331-1042. Credit card will help you reduce your debt. Call 1-800-331-1042. That's 1-800-331-1042. Call right now. Welcome back here to, ladies and gentlemen, the ratings are out. The number one show on CRN, the PM those show, eyes, with the lovely Nancy gone. and the handsome oh, Larry Manetti. Congratulations, you're number one in the ratings this week. You wow. beat out the Barry Farber show. Did I beat out the great Pat Icon, Boone Robert show? Conrad? You got up on top of Fred Dreyer and the Robert Conrad's in 10th oh, well, place. That's nice. <laughs> Conrad won't sleep tonight. What's cooking and the test pattern are on top of us. <laughs> <laughs> what's cooking? And I'm just test. kidding. Welcome back here. Oh, we have uh, some phone calls at 800-336-2225, 800-336-2225. We do the show live on Tuesdays at 4 o'clock Pacific time. That's Pacific Daylight Time, in case Ray is listening, at 4 p.m. <laughs> and, and then the show airs at various times on the weekend. Here's Gary. Gary, where are you calling from, buddy? I'm calling from Ypsilanti, Michigan. Thank you. Welcome to the show. You're on with Nancy and Larry Manetti, buddy. Um, I got a question for Mr. Bill Link uh, that you can forward it to him if you like. Uh, it, Bill, who's who's uh, Bill Link? Gary, his name is Will, like Will Rogers. Oh, Will, yeah, Will oh. Link. Not, well, right. Will is right I, here. I, hold, hold on a second, Gary. We're not going to forward it to him. Will Link is in studio. He's our, another special guest star. So go ahead, Will. Welcome to the show. Hey, how's it, how's it going? What's, what's your question? Um, uh, was Angela Lansbury a fighter in the 12 years uh, that she worked on Murder, She Wrote? Uh, was she the queen of primetime TV? Oh, um, actually, I think you might have me confused with another Bill Link. I actually share the name with a television producer. I know, so maybe... <laughs> Answer the question, Answer Gary the won't question. know. Don't What's the question hard. again, Gary? Yes she, was. yes, she was. She was terrific. She was fantastic. There you go. What a else? wonderful oh, actress. You got a question for uh, Gary? You got a question for Larry now? Oh, I got a question for Larry Minetti. Here it, here it now, is. was it like um, learning from Angela Lansbury? Were you a fan of hers when you were growing up? Were you a fan of Angela Lansbury when you oh, were growing yeah, up? Oh, yeah, I thought she was great. She was in... Uh, the Murder. Manchurian Candidate, I remember. She the Murder, she wrote for many years. And Were you ever on that show? And her husband, I liked. Yeah, I remember all her stuff. Her husband was... Uh, her husband was the exec producer. She's of English descent. What's her husband's name again? Is Mr. The... Lansbury. <laughs> Bruce Lansbury, right? Mr. Bruce Lansbury. That's right. That's right. And they're related to Randy Mantooth. Are they really? Wow. Yeah. I didn't know Angela Lansbury was related to Randy I didn't know that either. Her oh. cousins. Yeah. Seriously? Wow, I didn't know that. That's great to know. All right, you learned something every. Anything yeah. else, Gary? And that's it. Bye. Thank you, buddy. Thanks All for the right, call. Take care, Gary. All right, eight hundred three three six two 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 five eight hundred three three six twenty two twenty five. I did not know that Will Link was a producer. I produced years of murder. She wrote. Yeah, <laughs> Will Link and, uh, was a big producer. Big time. Yeah. Good, good voice. I like Will's voice. Are we going to bring Will in now to do his report? Will's going to be here all the time. Uh, Will, what do you got for us? Go ahead. Well, this week. Oh, did you want to? Will Link. Wait, go ahead. Link. Say it again. Say the it. link to the movies. Okay, thanks. Thank, that was thank much you, better Larry. than thank Nancy's. Go. We'll give her another chance and, later. And this week, the movies, it's all Hunger Games. As you probably already know, it oh, seems like brother. everyone in America has seen it. I haven't. I won't. You're the only one. Everybody I've talked to hated it. Well, except for well, Jen prepared. Kim. Young Jen Kim here in our office liked it. Well, may, maybe it. Maybe everybody it's else a, I've talked to just couldn't take it. Mike Reagan hated it. My daughter didn't like it. Everybody wanted to eat the poison berries. Well, yeah. guess what? Are you prepared to meet somebody who else who did like this oh, movie? Oh, who is that? Yes, that would be me. All well, right, and I'm the link to the movie. Right, so. right, tell Can us about it. Can we hear what the movie's about? Yes. Well, it's based on a, a series of young adult books uh, about a dystopian future where there's this... A what future? A dystopian future. What's a dystopian future? It's they, like a really terrible, nightmarish future. Okay. And it's uh, about a controlling capital that forces teenagers to fight to the death, basically as a way to control and entertain Maybe the population. Maybe I like population. this a story about the Obama administration. Oh, uh, well, let's... Uh... Michael, let's see it, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. It's getting close. Yeah, and, it's, <laughs> it's a, um, and it's a... And the main character is a girl named Katniss Everdeen, and she takes her pl sister's place in this competition, The Hunger Games, so to basically save her sister's life. And I was a huge fan of the books, and I feel the movie did a really terrific job of portraying the world, portraying the, like, garish capital that's overindulgent and the uh, outlining districts with their poverty and their squalor. And um, that's where I think the film succeeds the most, in that angle. It really shows the reality television element of it, how it's almost like this culture that's out of control, that they want to watch this violence. 
This is about the Obama administration. And um, Jennifer Lawrence is terrific as Katniss Everdeen. It's really a star-making role. She has to convey a, a, a lot of conflicting emotions, and, and she's fantastic in this film. But isn't this a violent film? It is a violent film. It, it has a PG-13 rating. That's and you amazing. Can, you can argue. It's for be- kids, and it's violent. What's no, wrong I with that? Come on, Will. That. You can, exactly. Well, Nancy, I agree with you on Here's this. the thing. You can argue just because it's kids killing kids, it should be even be R. And I would understand that argument. Yeah. Um. Look, this is a whole case of there was no way, whatever the relationship with the studios and the MPAA is, there was no way this big budget film based but on young adult novels. People are bringing their little kids to this thing. Listen, if you're it, a liberal, if if you yeah. like the glass half empty, I if you want to be depressed, payola. go see this film. Payola, but you, payola. But you know what? For you. That's, that's the thing. I don't think like a 12-year-old will understand. Because people the, are bringing it's, their it's, kids. That's Well, you know, yeah. that's... But, it, now, like a, but a actually... teenager, like a 15 or 16-year-old, might start to get some of the... Because it's really not about the violence. Well, it's really anti-violence. No, but oh, but maybe some right. of our, my daughter didn't think so. Some I, of I, our listeners should call in or email us and yes. give us your opinion. It's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. we Because I brought my the mothers and fathers think you about know, this show. It's made $155 million. Of course, because it's that kind of fodder weekend. that people go see. I brought my daughter and just left her there. And I picked her up afterwards. Well, you're not supposed to leave a three-year-old in a... Yeah, she's 33. <laughs> she's 33. Oh, that's better. But okay. it really, um, you know, the violence thing is an, is an issue. And it um, it is visceral, the violence. But there are consequences to it. And I felt it wasn't gratuitous. I mean, it's terrible because you're seeing kids die. But you're not supposed to enjoy that. It's supposed to be horrific. Well, what else it's is planned? We don't like this film. What's the next well, film? Well, oh, this was the film. This was the film of the weekend. Next, there must be other this, stuff. This was the only thing this weekend. That the only it? release. The only major Let's go release. To, how about that movie John Carter? People should go there and boost the box office. You know up. what? I, well. I reviewed this That's a few a weeks ago, film. and I told people specifically not to go boost. It's that. a science fiction thing. It's got to be. You know good. what? But it's kind. Of, John Carter's just. It's very alienating. It's hard to get into that world. It's a science fiction thing. That's why it's alienating. And there aliens. are aliens. Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> You would identify with that? Boy, if you guys talk chit chat, I don't want to talk any lot. Very good, Will. We'll we'll kind of well, break them we, down. We disagree on this one, then. All right. Hunger Games, ladies. We Let's hear from you, folks. We want to know about Hunger Games. Make sure and buy lots of popcorn, ladies and gentlemen, or just take a shawl and doze off. Stop it now. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. <laughs> Maybe we should do the point counterpoint with Will Link. It's good. Oh, that would be right. good. It'd what be movie lively. are you going to look at next week? Next week we got um, the big release is Wrath of the Titans, the sequel to Clash of the Titans. So I'm going to go oh, check that out. They changed one name. I know. Clever. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Wrath and Clash. But do I like you, plastic wrap of the Titans. That's going to be a new commercial. Do you know it's the 60th anniversary of... We'll find out straight ahead. Look your best the natural way with Capri.